Hi everyone, I'm Anu Amagu. And I'm Kiana Marsh. Welcome back to Study Break. Study Break is a talk show at Fordham University dedicated to all things pop culture. Today's episode is dedicated to women's basketball. Today we're lucky to have team members Mary Golden and Idona Thaki. They're joining us to break down their workable season. After that, we're going to put both girls to the test with a little trivia game. Who do you think knows the most about Fordham basketball? Stick around to find out. Welcome back. Now we'd like to bring Mary, Edona, Mary and Edona onto the show. Come on over, you guys. Welcome. First of all, congrats on such a great season. We're also impressed. What do you think made this season different from other seasons? Um, I think it would definitely be the team chemistry. Um, this year we've got a really great group of girls um, and we've really bonded both on and off the court. Yeah. I can't really compare with other seasons because it's my first year here, but uh, it's been an amazing experience and it's, I couldn't ask for a better season. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Like the team chemistry just must be amazing. You guys did such a good job. <laughs> Definitely. Do you think that it changes the tone of a game if it's being televised? Like, do you feel the pressure heighten? Um, I think this year we had a lot of TV games. Um, we had a lot on ESPN Plus as well. That's which crazy. Is, yeah, compared to last year, we only had I think two TV games, and then this year we had I think three in the regular season, and then mm -hmm. we had a tournament, and then we had of course NCAA. Um, and I think. Maybe for younger players, I'd have to ask it on it, but me personally, it doesn't really change anything because, I mean, you yourself don't actually, you know, the, the camera's far away, like when you're on the court, you're playing, you're, you know, you're focused on what you're doing. So personally, I, I don't think it, it changes like my, the way I play or the way of like nervousness or anything, um, but I think it is awesome for, for um, Fordham to be um, on TV and for others to be able to watch. Um, but yeah, Ed, what do you think? Um, <laughs> Well, I think, I mean, I feel like it doesn't really change the pressure that much because we, everyone still plays really hard, you know. I mean, I guess it can make you a little nervous in the beginning, but it's just like any other game, it's still being recorded and stuff like that, so. Yeah, definitely, especially because having like a big audience, no matter what, that's, you're going to have this same kind of pressure. Yeah. But I feel like it's great for you guys for having so many <laughs> televised games this season. Yeah. yeah. It's awesome. It's obviously very demanding, like spending so much time practicing. So how do you handle that demanding basketball schedule with your academics? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a challenge, uh, <laughs> definite, definite challenge. Um, I would honestly put it down to um, you know work ethic and time management. Yeah. I think any student athlete can attest to that. Yeah. <laughs> Just a, a bit intense, but on kind of a more fun note, you guys were on Jimmy Fallon. <laughs> oh yeah. That's awesome. So. Kind of just, can you guys tell me a little bit about that experience? Anything? I watched it. It's crazy. It looked, it was so funny. Why were you throwing cheese at me? <laughs> you guys look too happy to do this. Uh, all right, here we go. Three, two, one. Very random, but an amazing experience. Yeah. So yeah, no, I think I think I'm not 100 percent sure, but I think our coach had had a contact, um, and then they, they were doing the um, the mystery box or something, and so they had to combine um, March Madness with the cheese challenge. So oh, then I they, see. They, they, <laughs> then they combined yeah. like you know, we were in, in NCAA yeah. um, March Madness, and then they asked us to come on and then of course throw cheese into the car. Yeah, <laughs> of course, so obviously. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. logical. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Amazing experience. I mean, I kind of wish that I could throw cheese at Jimmy Fallon sometimes. Yeah, when I was watching it, I was like, I wish I was there. Why am I not on the women's yeah. basketball team? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. the fact that I'm 5'1". Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you never know. Yeah. Out of curiosity, do you think that you play better when like the student body shows up to support you? And how do you think Fordham could kind of like make students encourage students to go to your your games? Oh my gosh, yes! I wish <laughs> we had more students. Yeah. Um, it's so much fun. Like yeah. there's a lot of people there. It's just it gets rowdy. Yeah, the atmosphere is just so so awesome. Like we already like playing for ourselves and for our team um, and for our family. But when there's the student body there, it's just takes it to another level you know like it, there's enjoyment for them as well like I remember going to Dayton yeah. and oh my word I never yeah. knew how much a crowd could like affect you 
um, they had a packed stadium, like oh, yeah. supporters, like our yeah. older, like younger yeah. students, everything, and it was so loud. And I just like left that stadium, being like, why can't we have that? Like we yeah. should. Yeah. 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 yeah, like yeah. It's all orange. Like yeah. everybody yeah. is just, yeah, wow. just Fordham students. We should go to more games. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. It's an amazing <laughs> team. Everyone that I've talked to has loved it though. Like some yeah, of my, there's so much fun. Some of my like uh, classmates, and they always say they enjoy it. So, they like, give out free yeah. T-shirts. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes they have hot dogs and sometimes they have high professors. Sometimes like, hot too. Yeah. Yeah. They, they do. And then, <laughs> and then, yeah, normally they're quite fun because our games are either like pretty close or intense, you know. Yeah, no. Partly I think maybe the students don't really know about it. And so I guess that's kind of, you know, a, you know, an aspect that I think the university could improve on is, I don't know, I think sometimes they send out emails, but um, maybe like posters. I really think on the front of the CAF, I like what the men's basketball do. They have like the... Um, the, the, do you know what I'm talking about? Um, I don't know what they're called, but like they have, um, I would say flags yeah, of like the, yeah, the men's yeah, basketball suit, so and then they have the thing saying game day. Yeah, so and I think that yeah. helps because people go into the cafe and, and they're like, oh, it's a game day. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas with us, like we don't have any of that outside of the cafe, so I think, I mean, that would be one idea I'd have. Yeah, I think that is a really yeah. good idea. Yeah. I don't know why Fordham doesn't do that. Yeah, yet. just because yeah. like, I don't think it's always Yeah, because people need to know so they can actually go. Yeah, I don't think it's always their fault. They don't know who the game is. I think that's all the questions we had, so let's move on to the quiz section. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to see how much they know about women's basketball at Fordham University. My co-host and I will be sitting over there with a list of questions. One of us will call out a fact, and then it's up to them to determine whether it's true or false. Are you guys ready for these questions? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Not really. so, first off. The Fordham's Women's Basketball Conference first joined the Atlantic <coughs> Conference in 1993. <laughs> what did you guys say? You were right. It was yeah. it was false. It was 1995. Oh. Because <laughs> you knew that. <laughs> the team has qualified for four NCAA tournaments. So the team first qualified for an NCAA tournament in 1996. It is false. You're so good at this. It was 1994. <laughs> You're heating up. Okay. Fordham basketball played in the first televised college game in 1942. The TVs exist. <laughs> you don't know you're right again. It's Thank false. you. Thank 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 you. You were quick at that. I mean, these were hard questions, questions, and you knew that one. As soon as I heard you say oldest gym. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for playing. And oh, Donna, you <laughs> are the oh, winner of this trivia game. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you guys for coming on to our show. Thanks for having us. Thank you. We'll see you next time on Steady Break. In the meantime, follow our social media accounts to stay up to date on all things pop culture and Fordham related.